The overall goal of this procedure is to produce synthetic spider silk by mimicking the natural spider silk spinning process. To replicate the process of spinning silk in the lab, large amounts of recombinant silk protein are produced in bacteria. Following purification by chromatography and concentration by lyophilization, the protein is solubilized and the spinning dope is pushed through a syringe with a small diameter needle into a dehydrating alcohol bath. Finally, the synthetic as-spun fibers are subject to a post-spin draw to enhance the molecular orientation of the protein chains. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods like electrospinning or dry spinning is the lower cost, ease of manipulation, and the potential to expand the procedure into a large-scale production format. The implications of this technique extend toward developing a new class of biomaterials. These materials can be used for a broad range of different applications such as sutures, body armor, as well as strings for musical instruments. Though this method can provide insight into the material properties of spider silks, it can also be applied to studying other types of biopolymers spun from recombinant proteins. Generally, individuals new to this technique will struggle because it requires expertise in many disciplines, including bioengineering, biophysics, cellular and molecular biology, and biochemistry. We first had the idea for this method when we needed to mimic the natural spinning process performed by the spider in an attempt to produce synthetic fibers. To generate the plasmid that will be used for spider silk production, the desired spider silk cDNA is amplified using specific primer sets and ligated into a prokaryotic expression vector such as PBAD topo thiofusion. This vector has an N-terminal thioredoxin tag to facilitate.